Hello friends, in oxygen concentrators we use zeolite but zeolite is of no use when its sites are occupied by moisture. So there is no very good video on internet or good methodology to recharge this zeolite. So today we are doing an experiment and we are going to check if we are able to recharge this or not. So let's begin so I am opening this box this is an airtight box and this is of borosilicate now let me add this zeolite to this so I distributed this evenly and now we are going to use microwave technique to recharge this and we'll see how if we could do this or not so if I take some of the zeolite and put it in water I can see no movement no bubbles because this is a sodium based zeolite so there should be some bubbles coming out of this so that we can say that we need to recharge this otherwise we will not get any oxygen by using this now I am going to use my microwave for this so carefully we are going to use this I place this in the microwave so let's begin so initially let us set this to so I can set the microwave power level and when I set this power level to 90, 80, 70, 60, 50 and then I can set the time 30 seconds. So let's start. Now I am using a steel spoon just to check whether this is hot or not and as you can see so I am feeling a little bit hot at the bottom. Maybe this time I have taken 10 times the powder initially I took. So this is not that much heated like earlier. So I can go with 100% power at this time. So let's begin with. But if you have very small amount of powder, choose lower power at the beginning and then move up. This is the second iteration and I hope you can see the moisture on the glass surface. So this is evaporating from here very fast. So it was full of moisture. So this is a symbol that okay, the temperature is okay. Grains are as it is, they are not getting black. So there's, we are on the right track. After some more iteration, five or six iterations, we will get this recharged hopefully let's see, see the evaporating water vapors and as an example if we look at see my finger mark so that you can have a guess that water is evaporating out of this this is getting hotter so don't heat continuously so I am heating it and then mixing it again so that they are evenly heated you should wear gloves while doing this because this is getting this spot is getting hotter this is not ordinary water which evaporates at 100 degrees celsius basically this is surface adsorbed water so this takes about 200 to 250 minimum temperature to leave that surface up to fifth iteration i found that there are water vapors on the glass surface so within one or two iterations it will get charged so let's look at it how it goes after this eighth iteration let's look at you can see a lot of bubbles coming out of it so it means now the zeolite has been recharged still it is giving bubbles so now yes we can see for sure this is recharged by now so I think experiment is successful Take care, recharge your zeolite and get heavy oxygen concentration. 
After 8 hours of efforts, I recharged this much zeolite for my big oxygen concentrator. So two big cylinders, I can fill with them. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Have a good day. Some more points to be taken care are at the end of this video, which I observed while doing this process.